Hello everyone, how are we doing today? I trust each and every one of you as well. My name is Roger, and this is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, How to Duplicate Your CJ. Before the video begins, I would like to point out that this glitch may not work with your version. I've played every PlayStation version of San Andreas, and out of all of them, the only version that it works on is this version, the PS4 version. So if this glitch works for you, Feel free to continue watching and picking up on what I've learned to get the most out of your experience. There are other ways to duplicate your CJ, but those involve missions and those are pedestrians wearing your CJ skin. This glitch can be done at any point during the game. So, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is put in the cheat code to put CJ in a gym suit. This will turn pedestrians into pimps and prostitutes with uh, <laughs> special melee weapons. Once you put in this cheat code, the glitch is already in motion. So, if you uh, duplicate a CJ wearing the gimp suit, another gimp will show. So, to prove that it's not just some random piece of uh, contact that was cut off, I'm going to remove the gimp suit and show you that this is legit. Now, let's go duplicate a CJ. The best place to find a CJ clone is in a business interior, somewhere where there's pedestrians hey, wandering around. Welcome. And as I promised, there is a CJ. Sometimes there will be a second CJ, sometimes they won't spawn at all, but if they don't, you just Exit the building and enter it again, and usually a CJ will spawn. This glitch is hit and miss, but when it hits, it hits. Try on our range in the changing room. And for some reason, I tried doing this in the club. It doesn't work for some reason, but it works in like a fast food place or where they sell clothes, someplace like that. That's where you usually have the best luck. Now, to get this CJ out of here. You have to have the cheat code on to recruit anybody with a pistol, not the rocket launcher, the pistol. It will save you a lot of headache in the future. Let's roll, homie families. Now, let's go outside. You see that triangle on your radar, that green triangle? That is where your CJ is right now. Usually, they spawn in the middle of the map, way up in the heavens. But if you wait, it's like 20 seconds, that dot will spawn, respawn, and then relocate. Just as it did right now. Where is he? He is right here, in the Mahala intersection. Now, let's head over there. Alright, we are zeroing on, on CJ, and there he is. He's more or less my copycat. When he's touching the wall, he's fine, but when oh, he is teacher. away from the wall, he is tired. And he seems to crouch slightly slower when tired. But when touching the wall, he's fine. I don't know why he's tired, that's just how he is. I also tried experimenting with different CJ sizes. For instance, if I am buff, he will still be nice. default Muscle. tired. Yeah, I've been working out. But you play rough, handsome. If I am just Fat CJ. Where's your man, sugar? He is more slouched over. Ow. And again, touching the wall. He's perpetrating the halls out here. He's he can't fine. See me. All right. Now we move on to cheat codes. He is inheriting some of them. 
Um, for instance, the Super Punch cheat is also in his effect, but I can't show you right now because he has a pistol, and I don't know if he can holster it. I don't think there's a way to holster it. Another one is the Immortality cheat. He is immortal, so long as I am. If the cheat wasn't on, he would be taking damage. Maybe not as fast as a normal pedestrian, but definitely taking damage. One more cheat he inherits, and I find this one very interesting, is the Super Jump Cheat. Observe. As you can see, he jumped a lot higher than me. A lot higher. Let's see if I can show you again. Well, yeah, he jumped a lot higher. It's hard to show you, but he does jump a lot higher than you. And he is taking damage. One more jump, and it will kill him. Okay. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you that you can recruit yourself and cause havoc for yourself in your own name. For instance, I'm going to have him shoot and kill this cop. And I already got two stars. And I did not kill the cop, he did. But for some reason, he just causes havoc in my name. And another thing I found very fascinating is the fact that this CJ can increase the pistol skill for yourself. When he maxes out, you max out. When you hold double pistols, he holds double pistols. If a CJ falls, you can have paramedics revive him. When he responds, he will have no pistol. He will only be able to use his fist. Oh, you think you tough? You want to get slept, bitch? Oh. Don't be so rough, you can get it. It does make for oh, some yeah. amusing gameplay. It's your funeral, asshole. LSPD, get out of the way. Hey, I'm uh. easily. Ow. And as I mentioned before, this CJ has the ability to one hit kill person if you have the cheat on. Oh, you're too calm. <laughs> Smile now, cry later. Ah, you so calm. One interesting fact that I just found out right now as I was recording this is that if you recruit the CJs, from this bar, there's a bar right here. If you recruit them from this bar and they spawn, they can use their pistols. This is something that could not be done if you get them out from a fast food place or a clothing store. If you press the shooting button, they would not do this. But if you take them out from the bar, they can do this. I am just finding more and more interesting ways to capitalize on this glitch. And if you can find a way to use the glitch too, I'm sure you can find more ways to amuse yourself. Probably even find things that I haven't even found yet. And one more thing. You can have a clone CJ driving around in a car. Oh yeah? There it is. This one is more hit or miss than uh, getting an actual CJ, but it is possible. It's just gonna take a long time. The best way to do it is to go inside a building and come back out. And 
Driving around as a clone CJ is very difficult. Almost impossible. The only other way to have a clone CJ driving a car is to de-recruit him as you're entering a vehicle. So as I'm pressing what would be the throttle or the acceleration button on my controller and I am not controlling him. He is controlling him. I press the brake button and he does not brake. I press the handbrake, he does not brake. All I can do is just control the revving. That's it. That, my dear friends, is everything I can share with you on this unique glitch. Hopefully, if you can do this glitch, you could probably even better it in ways that I probably couldn't even do. So, take care, and be well. In that order.